Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. So now we are at the final subtopic, which is 5.4, exponential and logarithmic functions. So the first LO and the second LO are just quite the same. We have to sketch the exponential and logarithmic function. And then we have to find the domain and the range of its function. So now let's draw exponential functions. Let's go with the concrete example, shall we? So sketch the graph for each of the following exponential function and determine its domain and the range afterwards. So now let's look at the first um, function over here, which is expo ex x to the power, sorry, the first function here is fx is equals to exponent to the power of x, exponent x minus 2. This is how we say it, exponent x minus 2. So now, first step is we find, first step is we find the basic shape. Okay, step pertama adalah cari basic shape. So basic shape di sini, macam mana nak cari? It is, you have to find that this is positive x and this is positive y. Miss, macam mana miss tahu ni y? Because this fx is actually y. You know that? fx sebenarnya adalah y kan? So sebab tu saya tukarkan daripada fx ni jadi y and then, and then, and then we have positive x. And we have positive y. Positive y maksudnya nilai ni positive y lah. This y means positive y lah. Okay. So whenever everything positive x and positive y, kita dah nampak dari function tersebut dengan sangat jelas. Oh, positive x dan positive y. Di manakah kuadran dia sepatutnya berada? Dia akan berada di kuadran yang pertama. Here is where positive area untuk x dan here is where positive area untuk y. Jadi dia berada di kuadran yang pertama. Okay, so the shape will be going towards the first quadrant. Okay, that is how it will look like. Okay, the graph is going towards the first quadrant. The first quadrant. Dan you see function dia dekat sini function dia positive x dan positive y. Itulah maksud saya, positive x dan juga positive y. Okay, sebab this is positive area and this is also positive area. Sebab itulah kita panggil dia sebagai graf itu berada di first quadrant. Dari mana dia datang? Dari dotted line. Okay, that graph is literally coming from this dotted line, okay. Ni miss, dotted line ni apa benda pula? Dotted line ni actually, it's what we call as a simtut. Do you remember? Kamu pernah dengar perkataan ni, a simtut. A simtut ini bermaksud graf tidak akan melebihi. Dia tidak akan cross the dotted line. Tidak, dia akan berhenti menghampiri. Kita tulis ni sebagai approaching. Approaching. Close to, faham tak? The graph is only approaching. The graph is only, graph is only approaching. That's all. Itulah ayat dia. Graph is approaching but not touching. Uh, approaching. To the, to the asymptote here. This is what we call as horizontal. Horizontal berbentuk mendatakan. So this line is horizontal asymptote. Asymptote mesti bentuk dotted line lah. Okay, graf dia akan datang daripada asymptot ni pergi ke arah first quadrant. Ah, itulah yang dimaksudkan dengan first quadrant. Graf pergi ke arah first quadrant, tapi tak akan sentuh dotted line tersebut. Okay, ini penting lah. This is very important. Please hafal. Okay, this asymptot is what we call as horizontal asymptot sebab dia horizontal, dia mendata. So I call that as a S E S A horizontal asymptote. So now miss basic shape kita dah tahu. Oh dia pergi ke arah first quadrant. Let me write down nicely. Dia pergi ke arah first. Oops. First. Tolong aja ni. Ah dia pergi ke arah first quadrant. Okay. And then dia ada 
dotted line. Ha, kamu boleh buat shape tu dulu. Basic shape dulu supaya boleh imagine dulu tau. Tulis lah. Ha, kalau tak boleh imagine, tulis. So now, miss. Tapi kalau yang ini, ini asymptote dia zero. Kalau soalan kita, adakah asymptote dia zero juga? Tidak. Good question that you have that. So, so asymptote dia zero apabila belakang ni kosong. So, belakang ni adalah penentuan you punya horizontal asymptote. Okay. Belakang ni kan plus zero. That's why lah dotted line dia zero. That's why lah horizontal asymptote dia kosong. Tapi kalau belakang ni ada nombor. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make a circle here. So, here is where your horizontal asymptote will be. Your horizontal asymptote is y equals to negative 2. So, you got to find your horizontal negative 2 dulu. And then you label. Okay. Not that, not that. I'm so sorry. Your dotted line should be... Ah, your dotted line is here, my dear. This is where your dotted line should be. Let me zoom up sekejap. So, this is my dotted line. Let me use dotted line, a big one. So, this is my dotted line. Okay, and then I write it down. My line is, oops, too big, too big. My asymptote now is different. My asymptote now is y is equals to negative 2. Dan graf saya akan berbentuk macam ni kan. Graf saya akan daripada dotted line tersebut, dotted line tersebut pergi ke arah first quadrant. Ah, macam ni. Pergi ke arah first quadrant. Sebab tu penting untuk cari asymptote dulu. Step kedua. Tulislah situ ya. Step kedua cari asymptote. Step kedua cari asymptote. Horizontal asymptote untuk exponential function. Okay. So now dah cari asymptote. Step ketiga. Carilah intercept. Intercept maksud saya ni lah. Intercept ni. Dan ini. So, graf saya. Uh, miss. Kenapa ada line kat sini? Delete. <laughs> okay. Ni ha. Ni. Hmm. Intercept saya dekat situ. So, now when x is 0. My y is negative 1. So, here is negative 1. When y is 0, my answer here is ln 2. So, you write it down, ln 2. Ataupun you nak buat uh, kosong point something something pun boleh. Ya. Macam tekanlah calculator dan checklah berapa nilainya di sini. Uh, up to you. So, saya nak guna ln 2 dekat sini. Ln 2 adalah nilai. Ya. You tekan calculator and you will find out a value there. And then, tolonglah label. This is actually your fx is equals to exponent x minus 2. Label. Okay. Uh, that is how your graph is, is, look, is looking perfectly fine right now. Okay. Cumanya sekarang ni you perlu cari your domain and your range. Your domain is from... From the left to the right. So, kalau kamu bayangkan dia sangat-sangat panjang. From the left to the right. It means it's just literally from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay. Tapi, kalau you tengok dia punya range. Range dia pula, graf dia memang ke arah positive infinity. Tetapi... Tetapi at some point dia tak dia akan mendata je tau. At some point dia akan mendata, mendata, mendata. Maksud saya mendata pada pada range tau. Dia akan macam constant je. Constant straight, straight, straight to the left. Maksudnya dia ada limit. Limit dia adalah negatif 2. Negatif 2 adalah pada Y. Y maksudnya pada range. Okay. So now the limit is at negative 2. The limit is at negative 2 but not included until 
positive infinity. Sebab dia going up kan? Dia going up, that's why it's going to positive infinity. But the limit is starting from this negative 2. The limit untuk range adalah takat negative 2 sahaja. Negative 2 dan ke atas. Itulah range mereka. Okay, so done question 1. Let's go to question 2. Let's go to question 2. Question 2 over here. What do you have here? First step, as I said, first step. Cari basic shape. So, basic shape kita, have a look. You kena tengok bahagian exponent tau. Tengok bahagian exponent ni. Jangan tengok nombor tiga. Just tengok dekat positive x. Oh, here is not positive. Here is negative x. And here is a negative y. Okay, so dekat mana kuadran yang dia akan berada? Negative X dan negative Y dekat region yang mana? Region yang ketiga. This is the area of negative X and negative Y. This is the region. And so this is at the third quadrant. Ni, kamu nampak tak sama sebiji? Si kan sama ni. Bila dia sama, you faham, oh the graph is going down. From where? From the, from the dotted line here, going down. Going away, you know. So now, bas a basic shape dia akan pergi ke bawah. Turun. Daripada dotted line dia, y is equal to zero. You kena, you can, bila you lukis, dia pergi ke arah third, third quadrant, you mesti juga lukis asymptote. Asymptote sangat penting. Okay, and so the second step, the second step is find the horizontal asymptote. Okay. Horizontal asymptote dekat sini adalah your number 3 over there. Your y is equals to 3. That is your horizontal asymptote. Let me write down. Let me rip, letak sini boleh. Kecikkan sikit. Sebab nanti saya tak ada ruang nak melukis. Kecikkan sikit ya. Yeah. So now you dah tahu you punya horizontal asymptote, you boleh dah cari. Ha, letaklah dulu. Cari, cari dulu. Dotted line. Dotted line, horizontal asymptote. Ooh, this is my horizontal asymptote. This is y is equals to 3. Penting ya cari asymptote dulu, baru lukis. So now we know that the graph is going towards... We know that the graph is going down. Okay. The graph is now going down. Yang ni abaikan. Ni abaikan. Saya ter... Jangan... Saya terlupa nak delete yang tu. Okay. So now... It's going down. It's going down towards the third quadrant. Oops. Towards the third quadrant, right? Okay. Now... Dah, dah lukis Step ketiga adalah cari intercept Find the intercept when Your x is 0 Dan y 0 Bila x 0 Bila your x is 0 Bila your x is 0 Your y is 2 Betul tak? Ya, yeah, this is 2 Manakala bila your coordinate y u0, what is your x? Your x is negative ln 3. Hmm. Miss, macam mana miss dapat tu? You kena cari sendiri. You kena, um, you know, you want me to teach that? Okay, bila y0, 3. 0 equals to 3 minus exponent negative x kan. So, so now you rearrange and then you learn both side. See? Bila you learn both side, you akan jumpa dengan negative x is equals to ln 3. Therefore, x is equals to negative ln 3 lah. Uh, that is how you do it. Yang ni tak payah tulis. Sebab tu saya minta kamu just kira sendiri. Ha. Tak perlu saya ajar lagi dah. You should be good at that already. So now, 
Dah lukis intersect bolehlah label y is equals to no tulis fx lah fx is equals to 3 minus exponent negative x. Okay, so now so now kita nak cari domain. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. Miss, cepatnya Miss nampak. Ya, yeah, sebab saya boleh tahu daripada hujung kiri ke hujung kanan memang dia berterusan. Dia berterusan tau. Dia berterusan daripada bawah, eh daripada kiri ke kanan. Tak tahu sampai mana. So, negative infinity sampai infinity. Kalau range pula, dia ada limit. Sebab, sebab limit dia pada Y. Range kan pada Y. Range kan pada takat Y. Okay, range mesti tengok paksi Y. So, so range dekat sini, stopping, dia punya limit adalah 3. So, from below, from negative infinity, from negative infinity, dia akan berhenti pada 3 dan open bracket sebab kenapa open bracket the graph will not touching will not touching the the tree the graph is approaching approaching the tree only and that's why your range is only takat sampai tiga sahaja itu je graph tu yang boleh takat dia sampai the graph is approaching tree but not included tree but not touching the graph but not touching this dotted line lah itu maksud saya. The graph takkan takkan menyentuh pada dotted line. Sebab itulah range dia takat 3 sahaja. Okay. Alright. Is it okay with you guys? So I hope you can understand that the first step is finding uh, the basic shape. Cari dulu basic shape. After dah cari basic shape, lepas tu carilah horizontal asymptote. Penting ya, mesti cari horizontal asymptote. Dah cari horizontal asymptote, barulah boleh lukis. Bila dah lukis, barulah cari intersectnya masing-masing. Dah cari intersect, label. Dah label, bolehlah cari domain dan juga range. That's all.